Thank you, Speaker. Sorry to stop the roll, but this is the special purpose revenue bonds for Hawaiian Electric, and I'm rising to, spe to speak in opposition. Opposition, please proceed. Thank you. Um, Mr. Speaker, I really want to thank the finance chair because <clears throat> finance and the committee lowered the amount from 800 million in special purpose revenue funds for Hawaiian Electric, lowered it down to 80 million. My preference is that they would have put it down to $8. And with the message to Hawaiian Electric, you're selling, you're selling to Next Era, an entity that is immensely wealthy, that pays the lowest percentage of taxes of any utility or mega business in the nation, so they don't even participate in paying taxes that most other companies do. They're coming in to take over Hawaiian Electric. So why on earth do we want to allocate SPURB money to an entity that may very likely not even be here in a year? Now, I know that the chair of um, Energy Environmental Protection tried to put in some very good provisions in that bill. I was still opposed to the bill even when those were in because I felt they wouldn't stay in the bill. Well, they didn't. They're gone. So all it is is 80 million for Hawaiian Electric that's saying we're selling to next era this immensely wealthy corporation and we're out of here, folks. And yet we're going ahead with 80 million in SPURB money for them. I think it's a wrong wrong decision. I think we should have sent a much stronger message to Hawaiian Electric. We'll wait to see Hawaiian Electric to see what the Public Utilities Commission does. In the event they turn down your sale to next era, which I personally hope they do, Mr. Speaker, in the event they turn that down, then come back to us and come back with your plan of what you're going to do to facilitate the renewable energy projects for communities, for individuals, for businesses, and then we'll talk to you about SPURB money. But I am strongly, strongly in opposition of this measure. Thank you. Thank you very much, Representative. Further discussion, members? Representative Jordan. Yes, Mr. Speaker, I'm ruling on a potential conflict. Please state your potential conflict. I am a shareholder in Hawaiian Electric Corporation. No conflict, Representative. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you very much. In support, Mr. Speaker. In support. Representative Oshiro, same conflict. Mr. Speaker, I'd like to disclose a potential conflict of interest. I am also a shareholder in Hawaiian Electric stock. No conflict, Representative. Thank you. Thank you very much. Further discussion, Representative Lee. <coughs> uh, in support, just very briefly, whether a potential takeover goes through or not for Hawaiian Electric Company by Nextera um, within the next 12 to 18 months, we have an obligation to ensure that projects that <coughs> lower the cost for grid maintenance, upgrades that allow more solar uh, to get online, homeowners to save money that way as well continue. And so by decreasing the amount of this spurb and focusing on the projects that utilities can start right now um, that they ought to be starting right now, whether there's a deal or a merger or not, I think is the prudent course of action. In the long term, however, um, because we've reduced the amount of the SPURB, the utilities will have to come back, whether it's HECO, Nextera, or anyone else, and reapply for that on the basis of the merits of whatever that entity is at that point in time. Um, until then, uh, we let them continue their operations so that there is uninterrupted service, and I do hope in the long term we do have a better solution and a better utility that evolves out of wherever this is going that benefits the public interest um, first and foremost. But until that time, we do have an obligation to carry forward. Thank you. Thank you very much, Representative. Representative Thielen, a second time, still in opposition. Second time, still in strong opposition, Mr. Speaker. I thank the Chair of Veep for his comments, but the point is the Chief Financial Officer of Hawaiian Electric came to our hearing when I said, here is what you're asking for, to do projects, et cetera, what are you going to do? She sat there and looked at me 
and was not able to answer at all. She couldn't say, chief financial officer could not say what they were going to use that money for. One of the projects I surmised could be reinstituting their inter-island cable. She couldn't say. She didn't know. So if you had a major corporation come before you and you had the chief financial officer and you said to her or to him, what are you going to spend the money on? You're asking us to approve this SPURB. And at that point, it was $800 million. What are you going to spend it on? And if the person across the desk from you sits there with a blank stare and no answer, you, as a prudent individual, would not approve that. You would not approve that money. But today, we are doing that. And I think it is an absolutely wrong thing to do. Thank you. Thank you very much, Representative.